Um, so I'm going to approach this from a personal uh, recommendation. I, I have a 12-month-old. Um, and uh, yesterday morning at 7 a.m., I was at a parent-teacher conference at his nursery, which I think is a beautiful thing because isn't it great that we're talking about development at nursery, right? Um, and his teacher spent the better part of 30 minutes telling me just how joyful and happy and um, just in love with life this 12-month-old is. And he is, the, he is the baby who like dances for good food and <laughs> dances at commercials and balloons, right? He loves life. And while I think he is exceptional, um, I also recognize and prefer to believe that he can be the rule, not the exception. Yeah. Um, and I, at the end of the parent-teacher conference, his teacher said to me, uh, my hope for Gabriel is just that he gets to continue being Gabriel. And I don't think she really understood the gravity of that statement mm -hmm. um, because she said it so simply, right? Just, I hope he gets to keep being Gabriel. And as I thought about it, it's like, very soon the world will be telling him that being confident and being outspoken and being a leader will make him threatening mm -hmm. and dangerous mm -hmm. and aggressive. Mm -hmm. But being uh, vulnerable and being sensitive will make him weak and he won't be respected. Mm -hmm. And so I ask myself continually, how will he know how to keep being him with those messages? Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Yeah.